properties in and around Colchester, some you could never get your hands on. Others, like Moat Hall at Fordham, could be yours, but only if you have a spare £1.3 million sloshing about. Time, perhaps, to scale down aspirations. Forget thinking big, think small. Think 37 Harwich Road. It is small, but that's the quirkiness of it, really. In fact, it's thought to be the smallest house in Colchester, just 250 square feet in total, and it's on the market for £77,000. What kind of interest have you had so far? Yeah, we've had quite a lot of interest uh, viewing-wise, but no offers um, at this stage. Uh, now that we're actually uh, coming into the, uh, you know, to the better time of the year, the market's obviously more positive, we'd certainly anticipate you know, getting offers on this fairly shortly. It dates from the 1800s. There's even a holy well, which once it's thought helped quench the thirst of travellers moving from church to church. The well was originally opened up in the 1700s, and uh, I think it was closed off for a while and then reopened in 1844. And um, it's, it's actually the link up, apparently, on a route to St Anne's Church in Greenstead. Um, and the first part of the uh, route is St James's Church at the top of East Hill. There's a well there. This is the next one, and then apparently there's one down at St Anne's in uh, Greenstead. The building's use most recently has been commercial, so approval will be needed if it's to be turned back into a home. But be warned, in many spots, the dimensions come down to just a few feet. So, as they say, who'd live in a house like this? First time buyer, perhaps uh, moving in, or a buy to let, um, you know, opportunity for somebody. But not someone too tall. Uh, no, I wouldn't think that would work. <laughs> <laughs> so on the plus side, housework is easy. On the downside, limited headroom. Oh. <laughs> Kevin Birch, BBC Look East, at what is possibly 